Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm going to show, how to install macOS Sonoma on AMD PC. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So guys, let's start. For this purpose you'll require Open Core Patcher, for downloading macOS Sonoma installer, and for creating a bootable USB Open Core Configurator for mounting ESP and EFI according to your hardware. To create EFI for yourself, follow the guide for my button. And also one USB with minimum 16GB is required for the purpose. Before going further, make sure that your hardware is compatible. To know about the hardware compatibility list, please check out our forum. Also, as you might already know that, on Hackintosh's Broadcom Wi-Fi is generally preferred for a native Wi-Fi and BT function, such as FenVT919, BCM94360 NG, BCM94352Z, etc. However, since the release of Mac OS Sonoma, Apple has removed support for all unsoldered Broadcom Wi-Fi, so if you have any of such models, the Wi-Fi will not work as of now but a guide will be published very soon for Broadcom Wi-Fi support on Mac OS Sonoma. Also, do note that third-party Wi-Fi such as Intel will continue to work with third-party texts. A guide is already published for that on the channel. In addition, the USB-based Wi-Fi will also work with the supplied drivers from its manufacturer. Now getting back to this guide. Now, open Open Core Patcher. Now in OCLP, click on Create Mac OS Installer, then click on Download Mac OS Installer. After the catalog loads, click on Mac OS 14.0, then click on Download, and the installer will be downloaded. Make sure to provide administrative privilege when required. Now when you get this prompt, click on yes. Now select install macOS Sonoma, and then plug in your USB, and after the USB appears, click on search for disks again. Now select your disk, and then proceed with the prompts. And now your installer will be created in a while. Now after getting this prompt, click on OK, then close OCLP. And now mount the ESP of the USB, and copy the EFI for your system and paste it to the ESP of the USB. After copying the EFI, copy Open Core Configurator to the USB. Now, close all and eject the USB. Now, before proceeding with installation, you'll need to set up your system BIOS accordingly. Boot your system into BIOS, and then load the optimized defaults, and change the following settings.
Now, after making the changes required. Save and exit the BIOS setup. Now, plug in macOS Sonoma Boot USB to your PC, and boot to boot menu. When at boot menu, select your USB, followed by the UEFI prefix, and press enter to boot. From Open Core Boot Picker, select macOS Installer, and press Enter to boot. When at the installation screen, select your preferred language and click on the right arrow button to continue. Now from the recovery options, select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Here, click on View, and then select Show All Devices. Now select your main drive instead of any partitions, and erase the drive with the following parameters. After erasing the drive, close Disk Utility, and now select Install macOS Sonoma, and click on Continue, and proceed with the installer. Here, select the drive you created, and click on Continue. Keep in mind, the installation process may take a while, and your PC may restart several times, so don't worry about that. And finally, the macOS Sonoma setup screen is here. Set up your macOS according to your preferences. After reaching the Sonoma desktop, you must make the PC boot independently, without USB. For that, open Open Core Configurator, and mount the EFI partition of the USB, and system drive as well. After mounting the EFI partitions, Copy the EFI folder from your USB, and paste it into the EFI partition of the system drive.
after putting the EFI, eject the EFI partitions, and USB as well. And now restart your PC, and boot to macOS Sonoma without using USB. Finally, everything is done, and as you can see, macOS Sonoma is running on AMD PC. Also let me show you that the processor installed in this PC is AMD Ryzen 5 3400G with read-own Vega graphics. Also, the Ethernet and HDMI audio using the integrated graphics is working perfectly. So, that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.